Hello friends, welcome back to a new video on physics and animation. In our previous videos, we have learned about self-induction. In today's video on electromagnetic induction, we will understand mutual induction. And with this, our series on electromagnetic induction will be completed. As we learned in our previous videos, the coil generates an EMF in response to the changing magnetic flux within it, which opposes the change. This phenomenon is called self-induction. Today our topic is mutual induction. To understand today's video, let's first take two coils C1 and C2, which are placed close to each other on the same axis. And the galvanometer is connected to the second coil. When we pass a changing current through coil C1, such as alternating current, it creates a changing magnetic flux. When this changing magnetic flux links with the coil placed nearby, according to Lenz's law, an EMF will be generated in the second coil, which will cause a current to flow in a way that opposes the changing magnetic flux in the second coil. We can observe this current through the galvanometer. The phenomenon of inducing EMF in one coil through another coil is called mutual induction. And the magnetic and electrical interaction that occurs between two coils without any physical contact is called inductive coupling. Inductive coupling can occur in various ways. As we have placed two coils next to each other here, this is also a method of inductive coupling. We can see that when we flow a changing current through the first coil, the changing magnetic flux produced by the first coil is not fully linking with the second coil, which means that the energy of magnetic flux is being wasted. Let's say that only 50% of the magnetic flux produced by the first coil is linking with the second coil. To explain this fact, we use the coefficient of coupling, which is denoted by K. In this type of inductive coupling, where only 50% of the magnetic flux produced by the first coil is linking with the second coil, we would say that the value of K is 0.5. Now let's explore how we can obtain a better coefficient of coupling. Let's rotate the second coil in such a way that the axis of both coils is perpendicular to each other. Will this enable the magnetic flux produced by the first coil to link more effectively with the second coil? Let's understand this. As soon as we pass a changing current through the first coil, a changing magnetic flux will be created. And as we can see in the animation, in this type of inductive coupling, the magnetic flux created by the first coil is not able to pass through the cross-section of the second coil, which means that no EMF will be induced in the second coil and no current flow will be observed in the galvanometer. For this type of inductive coupling, we will say that value of coefficient of coupling is zero. We can also understand this type of inductive coupling as the angle theta between the magnetic field vector created by the first coil and the area vector of the second coil being 90 degrees. We know from the formula for magnetic flux Ba cos theta that theta is the angle between the magnetic field vector B and the area vector A which is 90 degrees in this case. And it is clear that for an angle of 90 degrees the value of cos will be zero which means that the magnetic flux linked to the second coil will be zero and the coefficient of coupling will also be zero. In other words, we are not getting better results with this type of inductive coupling. So let's now overlap the two coils on the top of each other in such a way that their axis become the same. And now when we pass a changing current through the first coil, the magnetic flux created by the first coil will better link with the second coil. And this time, value of coefficient of coupling will be greater than last two cases. Let's say that k is equal to 0.8 this time. We can achieve coefficient of coupling even better. But it depends on the geometry of both coils and other parameters. We will understand the formula for k later in this video. Okay, now let's define mutual induction more precisely. When a changing current is made to flow in one coil, a changing magnetic flux is produced in the coil. If this changing magnetic flux is linked with another coil, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, 
an emf is induced in the coil which starts the flow of current the phenomenon of emf and current being induced in the second coil due to the changing current in the first coil is called mutual induction now let's talk about the derivation for mutual induction consider two coils the first coil has n1 turns and the second coil has n2 turns the cross sectional area of the first coil is a1 and the second coil is a2 the current flowing in the first coil is i1 and in the second coil is i2 we observe that the total magnetic flux n2 phi2 linking with the second coil is directly proportional to the changing current i1 in the first coil where n2 is the number of turns in the second coil this means that the greater the magnitude of the current flowing in the first coil the higher will be the magnetic flux n2 phi2 linking with the second coil we can remove the constant of proportionality and get the coefficient of mutual induction or mutual inductance capital m thus we can write m is equal to n2 phi2 by i1 the unit of magnetic flux is weber and the unit of current is ampere therefore the unit of mutual inductance is weber per ampere from this equation we understand the basic relation between mutual inductance and current if we pass one unit of current in the first coil and n2 is equal to 1 the mutual inductance between the two coils will be numerically equal to the magnetic flux linked with the second coil in addition we also know from faraday's law that the induced emf in the second coil is equal to minus the change in magnetic flux in the second coil by change in time dt here we can replace n2 phi2 with mi1 which we have just calculated this equation allow us to better understand mutual inductance numerically the mutual inductance between two coils will be equal to the induced emf in the second coil when the current in the first coil changes at a rate of 1 ampere per second the unit of mutual inductance is vsa inverse which is also called henry now let's understand the derivation for the value of mutual inductance m first let's look at some basic formulas we know that turns density n is equal to capital n by l which can also be written as capital n is equal to n into l here we have used both coils of same length we also know that the magnetic field strength b is equal to mu not ni and the magnetic flux is equal to ba now as we calculated m is equal to phi over i where the current was flowing in the first coil and the magnetic flux was linked with the cross section of the second coil here we will calculate the value of m to 1 which means that value of mutual inductance for the case when the magnetic flux linked with the second coil and current flows in the first coil we will replace the value of magnetic flux phi 2 with ba1 and can substitute b with mu not n1 i1 here we take i1 because the magnetic field is created by the current in the coil 1 and we got magnetic flux linked with a single turn of coil 2 to obtain the total magnetic flux we will multiply it by n2 we can also write n2 as the product of turns density small n2 and length of coil when we simplify this expression i1 will cancel out and we will get the equation for m21 which is equal to mu not n1 n2 a1 l similarly we can also derive the equation for m12 which means that when the current flows in the second coil and the magnetic flux linked with the first coil and you will see the final result of m12 will be same as that of m21 therefore instead of m12 or m21 we will write it as capital m that is mutual inductance make sure for m12 or m21 you have to take the smaller area which is a1 but why let's understand this imagine we have two coils 
कॉयल वन हैविंग एन एरिया ए वन एंड कॉयल टू हैविंग एन एरिया ए टू लार्जर देन ए वन लेट से वी पास करंट थ्रू कॉयल वन सो ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी क्रिएटेड इन द ए वन एरिया ड्यू टू द लार्जर एरिया ऑफ कॉयल टू ओनली द पोर्सन ऑफ कॉयल टू दैट ओवरलैप्स विद द ए वन एरिया विल लिंक विद द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड क्रिएटेड बाय कॉयल वन देर फोर इफेक्टिव एरिया फॉर कॉयल टू विल बी ए वन ओनली सिमिलरली वेन वी पास करंट थ्रू कॉयल टू ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी क्रिएटेड इन द ए टू एरिया बट सिंस द ए वन एरिया इज ए स्मॉलर द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल ओनली लिंक विद द ए वन एरिया एंड आर इफेक्टिव एरिया विल रिमेन ए वन नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द फॉर्मूला फॉर कोफिशियंट ऑफ कपलिंग विच वी हैव डिस्कस अलियर इन द वीडियो कोफिशियंट ऑफ कपलिंग के इज इक्वल टू एम डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एल वन इन टू एल टू वेयर एम इज म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस एल वन इज द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द फर्स्ट कॉयल एंड एल टू इज द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द सेकेंड कॉयल फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन फाइंड द कोफिशियंट ऑफ कपलिंग फॉर द डिफरेंट रिलेटिव ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द कॉयल्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग